The purpose of this video is to walk you through how to use the mouse with your computer. Here is a mouse example. It is wireless. Wireless is that it has a battery, but it connects to your computer in a wireless way. There's a left click, a right click, and a scroll wheel. Not all mouses have scroll wheels. Here's another example. It's a wired trackball mouse. It has a wire, which is connected to your computer. It has a left click and a right click. And it has a trackball. And I'll be explaining the trackball later. What is a cursor? It is a pointer icon that allows the user to select items on the screen or perform commands within a program. You'll notice that the cursor is on the screen when you open up your computer. How do you navigate a cursor? You take the mouse, hold it on with your hand, and move it to the right, for example, and you'll see that the cursor moves to the right. Then when you move it to the left, the cursor moves to the left. How do you navigate with a trackball mouse? You take your finger, you hold it on to the ball, and you move it to the right, and the cursor moves to the right. You hold on to the ball and move it to the left, and the cursor moves to the left. I'm now going to walk you through how to use the mouse with your right hand. If you want to use the mouse with your left hand, watch these slides and at the end, I will be explaining the difference between right hand and left hand. Here's a left click example on how to open up a program on your screen. You'll notice that the cursor is on Internet Explorer at the top. You left click faster than what you see there, and the icon is highlighted, but you want to open it. So you don't single click, you have to double click faster than that again. And when you double click, a full window opens, Internet Explorer, and the cursor stays in the same location. There's an easier way to open up a program on your screen. And you'll notice that there's a bottom taskbar navigation. What you do is you single click on the icon that's on the taskbar like before, Internet Explorer. And when you do that, Internet Explorer opens in the full window and the cursor stays in the same location. When you right click, there's a difference. When you right click on an icon like Internet Explorer, what you'll notice is a little window opens up that highlights properties associated with that icon. For example, open window page, and you'll notice properties down at the bottom. When you click on any of those, another window opens up, but we won't be talking about that at this point. Next is to restore down a window. What you do is you move the cursor up to the right, and there's an icon in the middle. If you hover over that, it will show you saying restore down. You left click on that icon and the window moves down to this size. When you reduce the size of the window, two scroll bars show up, one at the bottom and one at the right. And the reason that the scroll bars are there is that the window size may be too small enough to see everything that's in that window. So what the scroll bar does is allows you to move the image down and up and left and right. How do you do that? To scroll down using the scroll wheel mouse, you take your finger, put it on the scroll wheel, and move it down, and you'll see that the image moves down. If you move the wheel up, the image will move up. Now you can't use the scroll wheel to move left to right, and we'll show you that soon. So how do you scroll down without using 
the scroll wheel on the mouse or a mouse that doesn't have a scroll wheel. What you do is you take your cursor and move it to the right by moving your mouse. You left click and hold down to highlight the scroll bar and keep it held down. You'll notice that the scroll bar is highlighted in blue. You make sure that you keep your left click held down then you move the mouse down. And you'll notice that the image moves down as well. So how do you scroll to the right? To move the image to the right, take the cursor, you left click and hold it down, then move the mouse to the right, and you'll notice the image moves, and then you can keep it held down and move it to the left, and you'll notice that the image moves to the left. How do you minimize a window? You take your cursor, you move it up to the upper right, you highlight this icon and you'll see minimize. You left click on it and the window is minimized. But where is it? You take your cursor, you go down to the taskbar, hover over the icon Internet Explorer and you'll see it. If you click on it, it will fully open that window again. How do you close a window? You take your cursor, you move it to the upper right, and when you hover over the red button, you'll see close. You left click on that button, and the window is closed. The difference using the left hand is that the right click is the primary click versus the left click using your right hand, which we showed you before. So what you have to do in order to use your left hand is to change the settings for the mouse. I'll be showing you how to do that next. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, this is what the screen looks like. You scroll down and click on Start. And then what you see is this window opens, and then you click on Control Panel. And then you'll see a full new window. And then in the upper right, you see Category. You click on that, scroll down, and click on Small Icons. On the left-hand side of this new window that opens, you click on Mouse. Another new window opens and you'll see mouse properties. You click on left-handed, then you click on OK, and then your mouse automatically changes so that the right click becomes the primary click associated with the left-handed. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching it.